This video will show you how to import your Caltex content into the dialog system for Unity for use in your Unity projects. It assumes basic familiarity with Caltex and the dialog system. If you're using Unity version 2020.3.10 or newer, no special setup steps are required other than importing the dialog system into your Unity project. If you're using an older version of Unity, select Menu Item Edit Project Settings. On the Package Manager page, click plus if necessary to create a new empty form. If nothing is registered yet in the Scoped Registries section, you don't have to click plus. Enter the information shown here. This information is also in the Dialog System's Celtix Importer PDF Manual. Then click Save. Now select Menu Item Window Package Manager to open the Package Manager window. Select Unity Registry My Registries. Then select JSON.NET and click Install. In Keltex, export your game and VR script to a JSON file. Here's an example Keltex game and VR script project. Select File, Export to JSON. In Unity, select Menu Item Tools, Pixel Crushers, Dialog System, Import, Keltex to open the Keltex import window. The first time you select this menu item, it will ask if you want to enable Caltex import capability. Click Enable, and then select the menu item again to open the window. In the Caltex import windows file name field, select your JSON export file. In this Unity project, we've added portrait images that match the names of characters in our Celtex project. We'll specify the location of those portrait images in the Portrait Folder field. Set the Save To field to the folder in which you want to create the Dialog Database asset. The other fields are optional. Mouse hover tooltips describe their uses. Click Import. This will create or overwrite a Dialog System Dialog Database asset. The console window will log the status of the import operation. If we examine the Dialog Database, we can see that it has the actors, including portraits, and conversations that are in the Caltex project. Conversations in the dialog system are generated from a network or map of Celtix sequence and branch nodes. A sequence node without any incoming links denotes the beginning or root of a conversation tree. This node must contain two character objects, one per line. The first character object indicates that the character with this name will be the conversation actor in the dialog system conversation generated from this sequence map. Likewise, the second character object indicates that the character with this name will be the conversation conversant in the dialog system conversation. This conversation root node will appear like this in the dialog system. Subsequent sequence nodes in the sequence map will contain the conversation's content. The script page for each node will be used to generate dialog entries, or nodes in the conversation tree, in the dialog system. 
The most basic option is to include only a dialog object on the script page. The resulting dialog entry will have the name of the sequence, the default conversation actor and conversant, which is set on the conversation root node, and the script's dialog text. This dialog object will be represented by this dialog entry node in the dialog system. Adding a character object to the script will override the dialog system actor on the dialog entry of the text that follows. If this character corresponds to the conversation's default conversant, then the dialog entry's conversant field will be set to the conversation's actor. To set a dialog entry's conversant, which is the character being addressed by the speaker, to a different character than the defaults explained previously, add a parenthetical object with a C tag and the name of the intended character. Put the C character in square brackets. The text shown here will result in a dialog entry whose conversant is Agatha. Dialog system dialog entries may have dialog text and optional menu text. Menu text is typically a short paraphrase of the full dialog text. To add menu text to a dialog entry, include a parenthetical object with no tags. That is, no special commands in square brackets. This object will result in this menu text in the corresponding dialog entry. If your dialog has voiceover, you may specify the value of the dialog system dialog entries voiceover file field by including a parenthetical object containing the tag VO in square brackets, followed by the name of the voiceover file. This object will set the voiceover field like this. To add dialog system cutscene sequencer commands to a dialog entry, add a gameplay object beginning with the tag SEQ in square brackets. All text following the tag will be added to the dialog entry's sequence field. Variable values can be set on any Keltex node. In the dialog system, the variable will be set in the script field of the first dialog entry generated for the corresponding node. The dialog system will import variable and condition literals into the dialog entry's conditions field. Asset literals will be ignored. Please keep in mind that the dialog system evaluates conditions one extra level ahead to accommodate certain continue button modes. To generate the intermediate node for a condition's evaluation to be delayed, simply add a D tag in square brackets to the condition's description field in Keltex. Finally, we can put all these features together. In this project, we import the Keltex content into a dialog database, assign that to our dialog manager, and get a scene like this. Marcus, how my heart aches for your loss. Claudius, what brings you here? Why not attend my father's ceremony? Surely this isn't an appropriate place for you to be. I wonder the same of you, young man. Very strange for you to slip away and come to the place he was murdered. Don't you have more important matters to be worried about? I can't imagine one of the great patricians has time to deal with someone as low as me. With my father gone, this family is no longer in league with your car. The dialog system's Celtics importer is supported by Pixel Crushers. If you need support, please contact us using any of these methods.